Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, today is Monday, April 27th. Every day we're closer and closer to being with our Lord. And it's 8.04 a.m. And I was sitting here talking to the Lord about the encouraging scriptures that I had made a video about last Sunday, a week ago Sunday. And going over them in my mind and come to Revelation 3, 10, 11 and I'm like, uh, uh, and I was, I was trying to say them and I'm going, no, that's not right. And I would say, try to say it again. I said, no, that's not right. So I looked it up and I found the answer to one of y'all, um, well, Kirby, who made a comment about Cameron's uh, prophecy where the Lord said now I come or something about using the word now and he said well uh, don't you find it odd that he said that last year that said now I come well the, <laughs> I'll tell you what the Lord I tried to explain to him that the Lord's timing is not our timing the wording is just not the same and we we can't question every word about the timing okay because more let's see how long ago Susan Davis got her prophecies way back before I ever started and I started in 13 so I believe hers were like oh nine and 10 somewhere in there Anyway, she's the one I've mentioned before. Her channel is Marriage Supper of the Lamb. Her books are on Amazon.com for 99 cents. If you want to see books full of prophetic words from the Lord Jesus. And I know in my heart she got them from the Lord. Especially the one called Marriage Supper of the Lamb that she got during her 40 day fast. Okay. From food. Yeah, she surely did. Okay, so anyway, let me, a lot of you know the verse, but I want to read past 10 and 11 and show you how, and there's more, way more in here than just this one verse. It's all over the New Testament how Jesus will use this kind of language. Okay, so I was in 10. Because you have kept the word of my perseverance, I also will keep you from the hour of testing. That hour which is about to come upon the whole world to test those who dwell on the earth. Okay, well, that hour hasn't even happened yet. And he said this nearly 2,000 years ago or so. Okay, that's one. This, this book was written for us. <laughs> the end days, people. Okay. He says in verse 11, I am coming quickly. Hold fast what you have so that no one will take your crown. See, we can't be discouraged because someone gets a word that says, I am coming quickly, which I have gotten, and it's been a few years, okay? Well, look how old this is. We have to hold fast what we have, okay? Now, let's move on to verse 12. He who overcomes... I will make him a pillar in the temple of my God. You all know what a pillar is? When Have you ever heard the expression, Oh, he's a pillar in our society. He donates a lot of money. He's at every city hall meeting. He's at all the fundraisers. He uh, might even be one of your representatives or something. He's a pillar. He's a You can count on him to do what he says he's going to do. 
He's a pillar of society. You know. I hope that helps explain it. That's as far as I got. Okay. So I will make him a pillar in the temple of my God. And he will not go out from it any more. And I will write on him the name of my God and the name of the city of my God, the new Jerusalem. Now listen to this. Which comes down out of heaven from my God and my new name. Okay. He's talking as if the New Jerusalem, which I have heard people preach, the New Jerusalem comes down out of heaven on, before the thousand year millennial reign. And this is where they get it, apparently. But the New Jerusalem, if you keep reading the rest of the book of Revelation, does not come down and settle on earth until after Jesus destroys the earth and heaven. He creates a new heaven and a new earth. Where do we go in the meanwhile? What difference does it make? We're going to be supernatural. We could all fly to Venus. <laughs> I mean, who cares? Jesus creates a new heaven and a new earth. And the new Jerusalem comes down out of heaven. So it's not destroyed. He's making it. Is the new Jerusalem. It's, it's described as a city. Because it's got all these beautiful different layers of gems for foundations. It's all described later in the book of Revelation. The point is it's mentioned here as if it happens here. But it doesn't. It's thousand years plus later and it comes down out of heaven from my God and my new name he who has an ear let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches and you, it doesn't just mean here it means hear and understand okay this is such a book of mysteries and it takes reading the whole thing several times and praying Lord what does this mean and there's another place that talks about where we get our name written on us and it might not be right when we get to heaven okay rescued from uh, the perseverance that is going to come upon the whole earth it says I will keep you from the hour of testing that hour which is about to come upon the whole world so even Jesus talked like it was about to happen and it was 2,000 years ago so just because people are getting prophecies that are five years old or, or more like Susan Davis's it's talk like it's gonna happen any day it's just the way the Lord keeps us encouraged and if we follow his word and the structure of his word how he does the same thing we know it doesn't necessarily mean now as in our understanding of the word now we just know it means soon and even many preachers not that long ago wouldn't even teach on this and when they did they didn't get it right completely but now this book is for us so if you understand Sorry, my shirt's falling off. How come it is when you get old, all your weight 
falls down to your belly? I would like to know the answer to that question. <laughs> Not that I can do anything about it because I can't exercise anymore. But anyway, there's the answer to that question. And I hope that encourages you to, to know that when you see... Ooh, I just got a black hat and a number. Oh, hi, buddy. There's buddy. 814. Okay, I'm looking that up. Thank you, Jesus. 814. I haven't gotten one of those. Well, it's been a little while. Let's see. 814. We'll try uh, Greek first. Oh, and little buddy was the first picture that came up. An adverb. Okay, it means it's academic. Atactos, atactos. It says disorderly, out of ranks, often so of soldiers. Irregular, <clears throat> inordinate, immoderate pleasures, deviating from the prescribed order or rule. Well, that right there tells me. What I'm saying to you is the words are not being used in the order that they come in. Like Jesus talking about New Jerusalem coming down out of heaven before all the other rest of Revelation takes place. That's out of order. We have to, so that right there. To me is a confirmation, but I'll try Hebrew. You may not understand it or see it, but I do. Okay, what was the number? 814? Hold on. Yeah, 814. I get it. Eshkar. It's a masculine noun. It means gift or present. The one usage is gift. A gratuity. Gift. A present. And in the two Bible verses it's used. It's literally a gift. Hmm. I don't, I'm not sure. I don't think of anything as a coincidence, people. My dog was a gift from God. I already knew that. God doesn't take back gifts. So what, what was the gift? That we have the promises that he's giving us just because he said now, last year, I'm coming now. I am at the door. I am I am at the door. Maybe all those messages were gifts to tell us, hang in there. I'm coming. I am coming. I am at the door. Don't give up, brothers and sisters. And don't think that because a message said now or any any day now uh, anything like that last year or 10 years ago it doesn't mean it wasn't from him okay I'm I'm just gonna take it as that okay <laughs> that was weird I hope he's coming soon I'm thinking about if he doesn't come by May 1st, I might get another dog.
I'd like to. I just don't know how, how I can or will or. I would like to, but I need help. And my kids won't even call me back. They don't even care that he died. Y'all pray for me about that, because I'm asking Father that if it's His will for me to get another dog, that it'll happen. That I'll get the money, and it'll happen. But if it's not His will, then don't let it happen. That's, that's all I know how to pray about that, okay? So... With that, I'm going to say I plead the blood of Jesus over this and hope it did, that it encouraged you. And, excuse me, when Buddy was here, he would jump in my lap and lick my face. Until I laughed. Okay, I plead the blood of Jesus over this video, the internet connection, myself, my computer, and over each and every one of you and all of your devices and your internet connections. And please remember to turn your Wi-Fi off when you're not using it, especially if you have pets or little ones, okay? We have to protect them and ourselves from this modern technology. And turn your cell phones off when you don't need it. And try not to talk with it up to your face. Okay, that's it for now. I'll talk to you later.